Zimbabwean workers are reeling under deteriorating conditions underlined by serious violations of fundamental rights by parastatals, security forces, and Chinese companies amid a clear pattern of intimidation, arrests and detentions, the United States Embassy says in its 2022 Human Rights Report. The report says workers' rights in Zimbabwe have been on a freefall, with the government clamping down on public sector unions. While public sector workers are barred from joining trade unions, their associations have been facing attacks by security forces, despite them usually meeting correct procedure. According to the report, strikes were commonly met with police brutality, force, and dismissals. The government enacted punishment and retaliatory action against teachers who participated in continued strikes regarding the right to a living wage. In May, the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education deducted money from the salaries of teachers who participated in a January strike, leaving some with net salaries that were the equivalent of less than one US cent. The Ministry of Education suspended more than one 220 teachers, seized the salaries of 530 teachers, and arrested others, says the report. For instance, in January last year, police arrested 18 teachers and amalgamated Rural Teachers Union of Zimbabwe, ARDAS, President Obert Masaror for demonstrating for teacher wages to be fully paid in US dollars. In June and July, after ARDAS received the 2022 Frontline Human Rights Award, the authorities arrested Masaror and ARDAS Secretary General Robson Scher on murder charges for a man who died in 2016. A previous investigation reportedly found no foul play, therefore the latest move is viewed as an attempt to silence the union leaders. In June last year, the Zimbabwe Professional Nurses Union and the Zimbabwe Nurses Association 